Welcome to another edition of the Weekend Storage Warrior. Uh, I just bought this unit for $250. Uh, I don't know why I did, but there's a jewelry box that had that in it. Not sure really why I bought this. Uh, anyway, we'll take it all home right now. So this one's silver. This one might be gold. I can't read the mark. Anyhow, here we go again. I don't know what I was thinking there. Uh, there was a jewelry box and I got all excited. But you couldn't tell what was in it. There's also a TV and a table and this stuff. So we'll take this home right now. See what's in these boxes. There we are. All back inside, safe and sound. I got a whole big table full of boxes to look through. Uh, plus a little bit of jewelry. And that's what we'll be doing next. Alright, getting going here. This is the jewelry box. And uh, 2015 Disney. And a really super blingy bling bling. There is also this. All right, going through the stuff. Uh, I found these. These are genuine Harley Davidson jackets. Got three of them. Some iPads. Some silver rings. Here's a nice box, and it's plates. All right. We've gone through all the boxes. Let's show what we found. Uh, here's some vintage video stuff. A couple of original Nintendos. Zeldas were 20 bucks, but I don't have the console. Uh, this is random odds and ends. Uh, Got to see if that goes to anything. A rival frying pan. I got three fairly nice Harley Davidson jackets. Uh, and let's see. There's some tennis shoes, Reeboks. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six milk crates of dollar stuff. Seven kit glassware. This is the jewelry. The ring was not gold. Uh, these are silver. A little bit of money. A couple of iPods and a blingy watch. So those Harley Davidsons are worth 30 bucks a piece. So these are 10 each. So I figure I've got a these are 25 each online. I've got 150 out of this so far. Now we got to go back and get the rest. All right. She's all done. I actually bought this unit at the same auction for a dollar in the hopes that there would be something in these drawers and that was a mistake. Duh. There's two cents and a dime in there. The rest of them are all empty. So this is kind of a trash headache. And today we took out a dining set, a hot and cold water dispenser, uh, and a fake Christmas tree and some clothes. Uh, not a lot of volume here. That's why I was regretting it when I bought it. Not much volume at all. So, uh, we are back. Here's the rest of the stuff that came out of this unit. It's a hot and cold water Nestle 
dispenser. Um, there was a little bit more jewelry in it that I would consider fine jewelry. This is all silver. Little turtle ring and the head goes back and forth. Uh, this doesn't look like silver, but it is. It's marked. It's good. All good. So how much do you think this weighs? Uh, 17 grams. I'll go 10 each on those. Moving on in here, we have a flat screen TV, and it works. <laughs> so, this unit might be a little better than I thought it would be. Uh, I'm thinking uh, maybe tomorrow I'll have a yard sale. Garage sale. I got all the electronic stuff because I have power. So I got blenders, fans, crock pots, place TV didn't have the remote. And the dining set's missing the bolts that hold the legs on. Uh, you can, I'm going to sell these crates today. I've got a excess. So we'll see how it goes. It's very quiet this morning. All right, here we are in the ghost town that is my garage sale. I filled the table for 35 without the bolts and I sold $25 of random stuff for a total gross of $60 today. So, uh, this is Black Friday weekend. People aren't shopping for used merchandise today. They're at the malls. All right, I just wanted to add a little section here. Uh, you might recall that I bought a unit for a dollar. This is that unit. Uh, I went through all the drawers of the dressers and I had to break them up. But there was a few things in here. This is uh, a whole bunch of gift boxes, which is appropriate. And little digital scale and this was in there about 60 cents and change and a cheap necklace so uh, this will get back 10 bucks 15 bucks of course it's gonna cost me more than that to dump this that's the problem with storage auction business you have this never-ending battle with trash so I'm going to toss some of this stuff on here and off to the dump we go. Uh, I like this cargo net. You can get these at squidco.com. It's actually a fishing net. If you're working with an open truck, you got to have a cargo net. Anyway, that was the dollar unit mistake. Okay, so here we are about a, a week later. I took a little time off from the junk business. Anyway, I was just going through this last box out of this unit. It had a bunch of clothing uh, and another big trash bag of clothing and bedding. And I found some sports jerseys. Phillip Rivers, Cardinals, 49ers, and the Padres. So that's good. Uh, I'm just got to get out to the swap meet. I, I don't know if I will tomorrow or not. It's been cold. All right, here we are at the old swap meet. I have sold eighty dollars worth of stuff already, and it costs thirty to sell here, so I made fifty dollars. Another hundred and fifty, and pays for the unit, and I get a nice free flat screen TV. So I mean it's very crowded today with sellers. They came around and made everybody get back in their spaces because there's not enough room for all the sellers today. Anyhow, let's see how we go here. So, the weekend starts while you're isn't having such a great day. Uh, 
Today I've made an $80 profit after the expenses, which means I'm still down 70. Although I didn't bring out the silver or the Harley Davidsons, that'll, that'll get me another 70. So basically, I just worked for about 20 hours to get a used flat screen TV. But it's a nice flat screen. So at this point, I've sold $150 worth of stuff after expenses. And I have a few things left here that I'm going to can sell. I've got this water dispenser, a couple of chairs. And in here I have uh, three Harley Davidson jackets. Uh, I've got some vintage Super Nintendo and original Nintendo stuff and some silver. So, I figure I'll get back another hundred bucks out of this. All right, and you thought the movie was over. Here we are again at the old swap meet. I'm trying to make back another 150 today. I'm getting there. Uh, there's a hundred. Right, overall, this has been pretty miserable. Nothing sold. All, all dollar stuff. Uh, I got some Christmas stuff here that I've been saving up. Of course, every other person that does storage auction has been saving up Christmas all year. Half the people out here have Christmas stuff. It's a veritable wasteland of broken dreams and lost memories. Ho, ho, ho. All right, let's wrap this movie up. What I like to do at the end of my movies is to add up the profit that I've made. On this episode, the units cost $251. I had a $46 dump charge, so the cost was about $300. Uh, to date, I have sold $250 net. That means I'm down $50. Uh, but I still have these things. If I get motivated and focused, I'll put those on eBay. That'll get back the $50. And there's still a big pile of stuff in there. Uh, leftover stuff. That'll make me some more money. So, basically, this was a break-even unit. And the bonus is this 40-inch flat-screen TV. Uh, that's not that great for 25 hours of work. You can buy these for 200 bucks now, so that wasn't the greatest unit. Uh, it had a lot of problems. Uh, there wasn't enough volume. Also, this is a terrible time to be selling used merchandise. Uh, and uh, I got greedy. I was trying to find gold, and there was no gold. So, since uh, this is the third kind of crappy unit I've, in a row I've made videos about. I want to show some real gold that I have found in the past. Uh, not all this came out of storage units, but most of it did. And that's the leftover stuff that I haven't sold. So, uh, you do find gold doing this. Uh, it's just I haven't happened to find any lately. That's a nice little sight to behold. 138 grams. It's about $2,500 worth of gold. And that's just the leftover stuff I've got laying around that I haven't sold. So, at any rate, that's it for this movie. Uh, if you'd like to learn how to buy storage units, how to sell the things that you find, please buy a copy of my book, The Weekend Storage Warrior, available on Amazon.com. And that's it for this movie. Happy holidays and bye bye. Club today, and you'll also get this fantastic free gift. It's a large capacity stainless steel hot and cold beverage container with convenient carrying strap, a $25 value. You'll I'm really liking this new TV.